Hi, my name is Microphone. I'm your friendly NFL expert. Okay, ignore that. Make sure you're followed on our Instagram so you can get an idea of when we're dropping these bad boys. It's the perfect gift for you to buy someone that believes Tom Brady is not the greatest quarterback of all time and that thinks Patrick Mahomes is overrated. Now, I wanted to give you guys a heads up. I have a tendency of talking too much, according to some of my haters. So if you think I talk too much, we're gonna cover this video on TikTok at Microphone NFL in about 45 seconds or less. So sack that like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe and turn on our notifications. And now that we get all that out of the way, Break! Mike check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? This is a player that I have been waiting to get traded for a very freaking long time because Deshaun Watson has been by far the most polarizing football player in the entire NFL for the past year. And unfortunately, some of the stuff that's affecting him off of the football field has been taking away from the body of work he's been putting on the football field. And hopefully that stuff about him off the football field isn't true, because if it is, that's just horrible. But just speaking from the lens of a football player, look at this guy's statistics over the four years that he's been in the NFL. And then let's take a moment to acknowledge the fact that his best season in the NFL was after a season where the Houston Texans traded DeAndre Hopkins and replaced their head coach in the middle of the season. Yes, last year, he threw for 4,800 passing yards, 33 touchdowns and seven interceptions and completed 70% of his passes. He also added 444 rushing yards and three rushing TDs. Despite this, the Houston Texans went four and 12 throughout that entire last season. Now, ultimately, the Houston Texans knew that at some point or another, they're going to have to move on from Deshaun Watson. In the offseason, they went ahead and signed Terod Taylor, who is more notorious for being the precursor to a next great rookie quarterback, which unfortunately takes away from Terod's body of work. And ultimately, that's what happened to him this year as well. Terod Taylor got injured. Davis Mills, the third round rookie out of Stanford, took some snaps. And now the Houston Texans are in a very unique situation. You see, if we're being honest here, I think the ideal trade partner for the Miami Dolphins, at least speaking in terms of assets, would be the Philadelphia Eagles. After all, if you take a look at the amount of picks that this team has, the Eagles have their own first round pick this year, a first round pick from the Miami Dolphins, and then of course the Eagles traded Carson Wentz to the Indianapolis Colts, and if Carson Wentz plays a certain percentage of games, that could become a first round pick. But unfortunately for the Philadelphia Eagles, despite the owner of the Philadelphia Eagles giving the green light on a potential Deshaun Watson trade, Deshaun Watson would not waive his no trade clause to join the Philadelphia Eagles. And no offense, Philadelphia Eagles fans, I don't really blame him considering the fact that you guys literally won the Super Bowl in 2017 and none of the main players of that Super Bowl are still on your team. The reason it happened was as a result of dysfunction. I personally would not want to play for a team like that either. And that's no disrespect to Philly fans because Philly fans themselves would say the way they handle that Super Bowl winning team is kind of be Yes. And if you disagree, let me know in the comment section down below. But I digress. I think another reason why Deshaun Watson won't waive his no trade clause is because he sees an opportunity to play for the Miami Dolphins. He sees an opportunity to join a team that has a fairly weak offensive line, granted, but has a loaded wide receiver core, including one of his former wide receiver targets, Will Fuller, has a defensive minded head coach, an established culture, stud defensive backs in Byron Jones and Xavier Howard. And dude, it's Miami. Who wouldn't want to live in Miami? So this brings us to where we are currently. Bear in mind, the trade deadline is on November 2nd. So if Deshaun Watson's going to get traded this season, it has to happen within the next couple days. Deshaun Watson technically is allowed to play, but the Houston Texans are just not playing him. Maybe that has to do more with Deshaun not wanting to play for the Texans and because of the allegations that are currently held against him. Maybe they're using the allegations to say that's why we're not playing Deshaun Watson. I don't know. But regardless, technically speaking, Deshaun Watson is allowed to play football right now and he's not. And the Miami Dolphins are currently one in five on the season. Now, I'm going to hold Brian Flores accountable here. I don't think he's done a good job trying to develop Tua at all because so far, all they've done with Tua is start him before he was truly ready, bench him twice in the fourth quarter in the midst of a fairly promising rookie season, not give him the team captain, give him the worst offensive line and the worst running back unit in the NFL, give him four offensive coordinators in two years, and of course, consistently dangle him in trade talks for Deshaun Watson. But 
But again, we got this report officially from Mr. John McClain of the Houston Chronicle. So the Texans have kept Deshaun Watson on their roster all season, but they have made him inactive for every game. Watson may soon have a new home and a chance to revive his career. The Texans could have a deal with the Dolphins completed this week, John McClain of the Houston Chronicle reports. Miami long has been linked with Deshaun Watson, whom Dolphins owner Stephen Ross reportedly has coveted since the quarterback requested a trade from Houston in the offseason. The sides have talked on and off for months, but McClain reports that those talks have intensified into serious negotiations. The Dolphins have lost five in a row, the most recent coming Sunday in London against the previously winless Jaguars. Jacksonville hadn't won a game since the 2020 season opener. Second year quarterback Tua Tonga Viola, Miami's first round choice in 2020, has not worked out as hoped with three touchdowns and two interceptions in the three games he has played this season. Texans general manager Nick Casario has been asking for three first round draft picks and two second round picks. Watson has a no trade clause and would have to approve any deal, but it is expected that he would accept a trade to the Miami Dolphins. Of course, it brings up Watson's 22 civil lawsuits and investigations. And to this point, the NFL has not made a decision about whether or not to place Watson on the commissioner's exempt list. This makes a lot of sense from both the standpoint of the Houston Texans and the Miami Dolphins. I'm assuming that if Deshaun Watson gets traded to the Miami Dolphins, Tua Tagovailoa is going to go back to the Houston Texans. There is a report that actually contradicts this theory of mine. According to Cody M. Davis, which I'm going to be honest, I really don't know who he is, but he has a verified check mark and I don't. So I guess we're going to take him somewhat seriously. Please follow me on Twitter so I could get a verified check mark so I could give you guys real news and real information that's backed up by verified sources like I'm doing now and warn you when the source could potentially be shady. Now, in regards to the Texans closing in on a deal that would send Deshaun Watson to the Miami Dolphins, I am hearing that it could be a three-team deal that would send Tua to the Washington football team. I'm going to be honest, if I am the Houston Texans, I would much rather take Tua back and have him on my original team. And the reason for this is they need to figure out their quarterback situation next year. Yeah, what's happening with Deshaun Watson stinks. You absolutely hit a home run on him. And of course, a famous butt chin came in and destroyed everything and then went to Alabama to be their offensive coordinator. And I'm going to be honest, that sucks. But now you have to go into damage control mode. And to be honest, this team is very salvageable, especially if you get three first round picks and two second round picks for Deshaun Watson. What needs to be done in this instance is the Houston Texans need to take Davis Mills and they need to take Tua Tagovailoa potentially and any other quarterback that could potentially be their future QB and really see how they stack up as QBs and compare them to the 2022 quarterback class. I think it's way too freaking soon for me to evaluate talent so far, but based off of what I've been looking at so far, this is not a good quarterback draft class. As a matter of fact, other than Malik Willis and Matt Coral, I really don't know who I would take out of this NFL draft. And hell, even Spencer Rattler recently dropped out of any potential of being drafted in the first round. And if you want us to make a video on that, let me know in the comment section down below because we don't tend to jump into college football, but if the interest is there, I'll do it. And also let me know if you want a super early mock draft. If the demand is there, of course I'll do it. All that has to happen is one of those video ideas need to make it to the top comments. So they need to pretty much take Tua Tagovailoa and compare him to Malik Willis out of Liberty and Matt Corral out of Ole Miss and Davis Mills, who is currently on their roster and figure out what they're going to do moving forward if this Deshaun Watson trade happens. Now, obviously this makes the Miami Dolphins a huge contender in my opinion. Deshaun Watson's no stranger to horrible offensive lines. He had to deal with it before Laramie Tunsil was traded to the team. He's no stranger to murky situations, but I think in this instance, he just wants a team that listens to him and takes his opinion very seriously. Bear in mind that this entire fiasco started when Deshaun Watson just said that he wanted to have input on personnel decisions. He didn't necessarily want the Texans to blindly follow him. He just wanted his input to be taken seriously. And that's kind of like the current state of the NFL right now. A lot of these franchise QBs want their personnel decisions to be taken seriously. Now, honestly, if I'm the Miami Dolphins, would I pull this trade? Yes, most definitely. I think all the pieces are there. They have the right head coach for the job. The issues that they've been having recently are offensive line and halfback, but getting a franchise quarterback that is a guaranteed franchise quarterback that is in the prime of his career. Think of all the potential draft picks that you could potentially waste trying to find that QB. Deshaun Watson's a quarterback that you could win a Super Bowl with. There's not many QBs like that in the NFL. So if I'm the Dolphins, I'm trying to pull the trigger on this trade right away. So make sure you're subscribed and you have my notifications on. And for the most part, I'm going to EDC this weekend. Follow me on Instagram. If you happen to be into that stuff and you come recognize me, I'll buy you a beer or two.
or five or 10. Seriously, I will. Aside from that, I'm your boy, Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload. Thank you.